Hey, what's going on guys? All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install Tomcat um, on your machine, on Windows. Now, um, Tomcat, the reason I'm installing it is because there was gonna be uh, points uh, in the future where I do projects uh, that has to do with Java EE or Jakarta EE, whichever you wanna call it. And um, uh, sometimes when we do dynamic web applications with Java EE, um, you need Tomcat for that. So um, so um, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Tomcat. And the other thing that I need to also show you is how to install uh, a Java development kit or JDK. So I've been using Java 8 ever since it came out, um, or actually Java 8 and 9. So um, um, I haven't actually used any of the latest Java versions that came out. I don't necessarily care for them to be honest, but uh, Java 8 and 9 should be fine. So at this point, I only have Java 8 and uh, Java 8 downloaded onto my machine. Um, let me actually show you where you can get um, uh, Java for, uh, what, what you call it, Java uh, JDKs, um, in case you wanna download them. So just gonna open the browser quickly. And then, so I'll leave it. I'll leave this particular link within the description below, um, so that you guys can also have it. So that you, if in case you want to download the latest Java uh, Java JDKs. So all right. So this is the the web page where I downloaded this. Uh, there's a file here. This particular file that you see here. This is the page where I downloaded it from. So I came down. By the way, I'm using 64 bit uh, on my machine. So uh, this is the version that I downloaded. So let me just double check. Uh, 202. Uh, that's the one over there. So um, yeah. So this I'll leave a link in the description to, below as to where you can download the, um, uh, to this to this website so that you can you guys can download it. And then as for Tomcat, uh, you just have to type in Tomcat. I believe within the first search results, this is the one that you will see. So if you click there, um, it'll take you to um, this particular page. So, um, currently the one that I have downloaded on my machine is Tomcat 9. Um, so if you want to download other versions, you can just come over here and just select either 8, 9 or 10. I think 10 is the latest version. So, but, um, yeah, um, if you want to just download Java 8 or 9, I mean, sorry, Tomcat 8 or 9, the features, there are probably differences, but, uh, for what I'm mainly going to be doing with on the channel is just to export uh, Java web applications to WAR files and then just export them within um, a Tomcat container and that's it. So you can download it. You can download Tomcat at this particular URL. I'll leave a link in the description below as to where you can find this and then uh, we can uh, uh, continue from there. So in any case, uh, I'm just going to close this. So now before I even install um, Apache Tomcat. I first need to install the Java, uh, uh, the Java JDK, or Java Development Kit. So I'm just gonna double click on that. All right. So I'm just gonna click yes. Okay. So. You should be able to see this particular screen once you've uh, clicked, um, once you once it progresses. So uh, what we're gonna do then now is click next, uh, click next, and that's pretty much it. So I'm just gonna leave it to install. And uh, once it's done, uh, we'll be back to test it again. Uh, one moment for me, please. All right, guys. So once the installation is complete, um, you should see this annoying little message here that um, something about corporate users will be impacted. I think if I'm not mistaken, after Java 10 or 11, somewhere there, apparently there's going to be a point where in terms of how you use Java, you're gonna pay for it or something like that. So I'm guessing this is what it relates to, but if you see it, just click okay and just ignore it. So let's see. Um, all right, so click change to install to a different folder. So if you want to install your Java in a different folder, you can do it here, but I think this is okay. Um, so what's this now? Why is it not showing?
okay all right for some reason it wasn't showing underneath but click the second button i think that's next um so after you do that you should see this particular box over here where it's installing java all right so let's just give it a second to install i'm gonna pause the video again and then uh, we'll continue once it's done one moment for me please okay guys so okay so after the installation has completed uh you should be directed to this particular um window here so you should see that message where it says um java se development kit 8 update has been successfully installed okay let's see next steps access tutorials blah 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 we don't need that we can click close for here all right so now I'm gonna go back to the folder where I have my uh, Tomcat uh, downloaded, which is in the downloads folder. So now, the reason I had to install uh, the Java development kit first is because Tomcat requires Java to, uh, in order for it to work. So uh, now we can double click on that file. If you did download Java 9, just, or whichever version you downloaded, just click on that file. They are pretty much the same, but, um, um, yeah, obviously there are features with the latest version, so, but the installation process is pretty much the same. So then after you click that, you should see this window. All you have to do is click next. Uh, I agree. And then you can just select, let's just select four. And then when we click next, now um, here is where you, let's see, you can create, I don't have to create shortcuts for, because this is a virtual machine. I'm just using it to demonstrate how to install this. So I'm not going to tick on that and then the login so make sure you remember this so i'm just going to use my name and make the password as simple as possible but obviously for production purposes you wouldn't do this so i'm just going to give it um password one uh no uh password one two three that's it and then the roles this is by default what you would get for the main user so this is the, the main user for Tomcat. And then the password that you are setting here, this is what you will do to log into the, to the Tomcat uh, manager. All right, so make sure you remember what the password is here. And then the default port is gonna be 8080. And so you can leave that as it is. You can leave this as it is. Um, and then you can then click next after you've put in your username and password. Okay, so by default, uh, Tomcat will look into the C drive program files, Java, and then see if there's a, uh, there's a Java installed. So uh, because we just installed it, this is where the installation folder is. And so it was able to pick it up automatically. So um, if you don't have Java installed in this particular location, you will then have to browse to wherever you have your, uh, your Java installed. Maybe you might have a separate driver where you're installing programs and whatnot. So just navigate to that and then select your uh, where, wherever you installed your Java version. So, but if you've done it this way, um, it should automatically pick it up. So then you have to click next. Um, the, this is the location as to where Tomcat is going to be installed. So then after that, you just have to click next. And then let's just let the installation run. So I'm gonna pause the video again. Uh, okay, it doesn't look like I have to. Okay. Oh, it looks like I didn't have to, so I'm just going to say run. Hopefully it doesn't clash with XAMPP because I have XAMPP installed here. So let's see if it will work. All right, so to test and see if uh, our installation is working, I'm going to just open the browser and then uh, try to access Tomcat. Okay, so um it should be localhost port 8080 by default okay so there you have it so if you did uh if you followed the steps um uh, all the steps that i did um exactly how i did it i mean um you just have to open your browser, type in localhost, and then the port by default is port 8080. So um, um, if you, after doing that, you should be able to see this particular page um, if you've done everything correctly. Now, the other thing to bear in mind is that if you type in port 8080, I mean localhost and then port 8080 and it doesn't show up, the other thing that, that you might need to check is the services. So, um, 
I'm going to click start and then say run. And then you just have to type services. I think it's dot msc. And then the services window should pop up um, if you type that. And then if you check there where it says Apache Tomcat, uh, you should be able to, if the, the other, if the page doesn't work, the other place is to check the services to see if the Tomcat uh, service is running. If it's not, just click on start or whatever, or and then it should be able to run. So, um, so yeah, that's basically it in terms of installing Tomcat. So now I'm going to be using this video to uh, whenever I'm using Java EE or if I'm doing anything in regards to uh, working with Eclipse, um, working with Java or Java SE or Java EE, um, I'll be referring to this video because the main two things that you need to take note of is installing the JDK and so um, the, what you call it, the Java Development Kit. And so I'll be using uh, this video to reference um, anything in regards to that. So. Um, so yeah, man, um, this is just so that whenever I'm working in, whether it's Java EE or Spring Boot or anything like that, <clears throat> I can then refer to this video so that you guys can be able to install uh, all the utilities that you need in order to work with it. And so, um, so that we are on the same page whenever I'm doing any of those tutorials and so forth. So, so yeah, man, that's basically it. Hopefully you guys were able to uh, see how this is all done and you were able to follow all the steps and hopefully you all managed to successfully install it and so forth. Um, you know, one last thing before I even, uh, before I end the video, um, I actually forgot to show you one more thing. So if you remember when we were installing Tomcat, um, there was a point where we had to add a username and password. So just to show you, some of these links here, it would require that you log in in order to access some of them. So I think, let me just see, I think it's manager app. Let me just check this one. All right, so mine was Jason and then I just made it simple. It was password one, two, three. Uh, let me try again. No, I think it was capital P. Okay, so it was capital P. In any case, so when you deploy applications into your uh, uh, to, into Tomcat, this is one of the panels that you can come and access. So, for example, um, you might need to go down here, and then browse to wherever your your WAR file is, and then it will be deployed within the. After you select that file, you then um, wherever your WAR file is, you select that file and then you click deploy, it should be displaying under this. But um, it's um, don't stress about this. Uh, whenever I do work with Java EE applications, I will try to, uh, I will show you the, uh, how to um, deploy an application within this Tomcat container and then um, see it from there. So yeah, remember the password that you set up in the beginning when you were, um, um, what you call it, when you were um, um, installing Tomcat, that's the password that you'll use to access some of these links here you know, within Tomcat, as you see. All right, so I think that's it for the video, guys. Um, again, hopefully you enjoyed or you liked what you've seen so far. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And then um, I'll be seeing you guys within the next video. Uh, cheers for now, guys.